It's Dion Dean back with another video. I'm not at the office. I am at home. <laughs> Had another full day of visual merchandising in these streets, all up in these stores. And so I didn't make it down to my office, but I did make it to the Goodwill outlet in Fort Lauderdale. Now I know I have not given you a video. Oh God, I haven't given you a Goodwill outlet video in a couple of weeks. So this one is going to be good. I only spent $20.41. Sorry. This wig is like, it's been, she's been bugging me all day. And I don't know where this hair is coming from, so I'm just gonna keep playing with it until I can yank her out. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I spent $20.41. You guys know that, or if you don't know if you're new to this channel, the Goodwill Outlet in Fort Lauderdale, their prices are $1.99 a pound. Um, and so I guess that works out to like 11 pounds, 10, 11 pounds. Um, some of this stuff is mine. <laughs> we all know how I do. Um, and I'll kind of talk you through each purchase. You know how we do on this channel, okay? Um, and if you are new to the channel, subscribe. I do thrift hauls. I do shop with me's. I would like to just bring you guys, my family, with me when I'm out in these streets. And so, you know, 2019, I'm planning some really big things and some meetups and so on and so forth. So if you want to know what's going on, subscribe to my channel down below or follow me on Instagram at, Instagram at I am Dion Dean. But let's go into this haul because... The first piece that I got, the good thing about being in South Florida and thrifting is that nobody is necessarily thrifting for fall or winter. And so, you know, when there are beautiful pieces, shawls, capes, things like that, they kind of just go untouched. And so this was a piece that went untouched. And I actually have a picture of me in something similar. I'll insert it right here. Okay, so you saw that picture. That was me in Chicago with something kind of similar. I actually ended up selling that piece because you guys know how I feel. Like if, if I'm not loving it anymore, I have no problem poshing it or eBaying it. And so, um, so I did I eBay that or did I sell it to a friend? I think I sold it to a friend because friends do pay just in case for all of those that I'm for all those people out there that I'm like, you need to be charging your friends for shopping. Yeah, I sold it to a, a friend of mine. Um, but this is a green now you guys know that i'm a florida state seminole i don't know what i'm doing in this fam you um shawl cape thing <laughs> but she's fabulous darling let me move back so you can see <coughs> oh god don't like god don't like ugly <laughs> all that shade i just gave fam you and you um um but here is just a throw darling and i saw this and i thought it was like a blanket and you know then I saw this little the little V part, and I'm like, oh, so the, yes, this will be me. Check for me on Instagram because I definitely will be rocking this on there very soon, even though it's like 80 degrees right now. Anyway, so yeah, I thought it was a blanket, and then I saw this as I was lifting it up, and whenever you see this V, you know that it's a shawl. So let me just throw it right there. All right, so in my video, I did a video on how to online shop and I talked about my process for online shopping. Um, and I let you guys know that, oh Lord, this way. So I told you guys that I will put things in my shopping cart or items or pieces in my shopping cart because not to say that I'm, like I don't wanna be a hasty shopper, but I know that I'm always in these streets. I'm always in the stores. And so I don't want to buy something for $30, $20, whatever, when I just may find it in a bin. So this is a sweater. I've been looking for crop sweaters to wear with like my high-waisted pants, um, or even like not high-waisted jeans, but um, kind of like mom jeans or boyfriend jeans, I should say. So I had a few crop sweaters in my Forever 21 and Boohoo cart, and then I found this. And so it's just a regular sweater. This is actually a large. Um, but let me tell you something. If something has stretch, then I will buy it. Because mama will stretch it out. So, you know, we're going to stretch this out to where it needs to be. So, so it's definitely a crop sweater. But look at the back. The back is what really got me. I love that. Would I wear it naked in the back? You know I kind of would. With just my bra strap showing. But I'm trying to live holier than I have in 2018 because I've been very risque. Um, and I'm trying to be a better example for my daughter. So I will wear a tank top under this. Pro probably. Mm, I might not. But pray for me. All right. So the next two pieces that I got. Um, these are a pair of celebrity pink jeans. 
And Celebrity Pink, I have sold four pairs of Celebrity Pink and they have all come, I think one pair that were new came from um, the Play-Doh's Closet sale, but Celebrity Pink pay, uh, does well for me. Uh, Celebrity Pink pays. But yes, I priced them at about 11 to $15. And depending on the condition, the reason why I got these versus just a regular skinny, if they were regular skinny, I probably wouldn't have gotten them. But this hem right now, this unfinished hem is all the rage with the kids, darling. And so the unfinished hem is what made me purchase that. And then these, I actually am a fan of these jeans personally. The Jessica Simpson Kiss Me Super Skinny. I think this is one of the best skinny jeans on the market. Um... Dillard's has them, Macy's has them, I think anywhere, TJ Maxx I think even has them. This is one of my favorite jeans and so when I saw them in the bins, I was like, yes, I'm going to buy those. So um, this is not my size of course, but I'm going to put these in my closet. Um, it just has the, you know, I judge my jeans by the skinniness at the ankle. That's, and it has to have like good fabric. This one is 98 cotton, 2% elastane, which is per perfection um yeah that two percent elastane is just what i need but for me i judge it by the bottom like i want it to be skinny all the way down at the bottom a lot of jeans will be skinny like down to the middle of the calf and then it goes straight no i need it to be like skinty 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 all right so I bought a pair of Doc Martens. Now these were really an Instagram find. Whenever I go on Instagram with my favorite resellers and they find Doc Martens and they're like, oh, it sold for me. Uh, this is, I feel like this is the first time I may have purchased Doc Martens before in Chicago um, at the bins. But I can't remember if that's the case. Anyway, I got these pair of Doc Martens and they seem like they've been worn, but then the bottom is new so I don't know if they were just tried on I don't know if they were resold I don't think they were resold because they like they've barely been worn you see that so yeah this was definitely like an Instagram um Instagram find um this I swore to myself I swore to the Lord I told Jesus I said Jesus Father Holy Ghost I will not buy any more Vera Bradley because it's just not my judge but I bought this and I put it in my store in Chicago and it sold for me. This is the um, laptop bag. And it is brand spanking new. And so I said, okay, I will get this laptop bag. Okay. Oh, I opened it to show you the inside. It doesn't really have much. This has like a little compartment. Move the zip all the way down. Um, has like compartment for whatever, Velcro. I, I really told the Lord I was not going to be, here I go again. All right, so these, let me do this one. So you guys know how I feel about the sequins, so it's not a surprise that when I saw this, you know, I'm all about sequins and a skinny jean, okay? Sequins and a distressed jean, I think it's so fabulous. It's like that sweet and salty mix, like that's the, that's how I call it. Um, naughty and nice kind of thing. So this, of course you can wear it with black pants. Um, oh my gosh, with like black silk, um, a pair of black silk um, uh, shorts, absolutely. Um, I may style this on one of my friends and put it on my page so that you can see how I would style this. That's that's what I might do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to style that. Um, this was just this was just South Florida. I just saw it and I'm like, I could see this on the mannequin. I could see one of my Chicalindas wearing this for New Year's, okay? So that's that's who she is. <laughs> that's, that's just who she is. There's no rhyme or reason. I just really saw one of my Miami girls, one of my Atlanta girls in, in this. Because look at, look at the front and then look at the back. The back is cut out. I mean... This is totally live on a Sunday night. If you've never been to South Florida, then you don't know what live is. Live is like the club. How do I know that? I don't know because I don't go to the club, but I hear that's what the, that's what the kids are talking. That's what the kids are talking about. Okay. <laughs> this is tinsel. Tinsel denim is a junior brand. This is like a leatherette. You can kind of see it with the light leatherette legging, which I love. You guys know that I like to put things in my store that are reflective of my taste, and so tinsel junior brand. Um, this is a sweater, once again, um, talking about the things that I buy for myself in my cart, crop sweaters. 
Um, so this is a crop white sweater. Now what I'm planning to do, <coughs> excuse me, Lord, these bins, hold on. <coughs> you just know you're gonna be sneezing. And I've been sneezing since I left. <coughs> Ooh, third time, is that it? Yes, okay. So you know these have to be rinsed out, right? Okay, so crop sweater, cream, I love the sleeve. What I'm gonna do here is lob off the shoulder. And I may show you guys, I may do a video. I've done a video of that, of that before, um, and I'll link it up here, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Lob it off, it's a crop sweater, so it'll come off the shoulder. Show a little bit of teeny, just a little bit. Um, so let me know if you want me to do another video where I lob off the top. And I'll do that for you. Oh my gosh, I got the sneezies, y'all. And this, oh, this is the last piece. Okay, good, so I can go blow my nose. Oh my gosh. Everybody at the bins is sneezing. It's like you just can't get away from it. Um, so the, these are a really cool pair of Pilcro pants. Now this is another brand you know I love, Anthropology. Anthropology is a shiznit. But Anthropology just hasn't been selling for me that great. But I thought these pants, these are like quintessential Anthropology bohemian pants and so you guys know that when we buy pants we check the crotch so I'm just checking again as I take these out um but these just are some pillow core pants and yeah so all of that was twenty dollars and forty one cents I spent about 45 minutes I was gonna spend I was gonna try and do a 20 for 20 video like 20 minutes 20 dollars video um but they Fort Lauderdale is really good about bringing and rota rotating the bins and so when I walked in, they had just brought out some and I started shopping that one and then they started to rotate the ones in front of me. So I did about three rotations and you know, if they had the, uh, so Fort Lauderdale, if you get there after 10 o'clock, you might not have a cart. And so I didn't have a cart, my hands were full and so I could have spent more time and more money, um, but this is what my two hands <laughs> could carry. But I did do three rotations and so, um, if I would have had a car and really like took my time, I probably could have found a little bit more. But I think for twenty dollars, I think this was a good good haul, especially because I got some pieces for myself. Those two sweaters, right now, I could take them off my cart off of Forever Twenty One. Um, I know that there was one sweater that was twenty dollars, one that was twenty eight dollars. That that shawl, I mean, that's a fabulous winter piece. So I've saved a lot of money. So twenty dollars is like nothing compared to what I could. All right, love you. We never pay retail. I'm going to do another haul. I know I'm going to go to West Palm Beach. <sighs> end of this week? No, it's not going to be end of this week. Next week, early next week, and I'm going to do some thrifting up there. There are a few stores that I have not been to that you guys have actually told me about. And so I'm going to go, you know, I like to go to a store two or three times before I make a video about it because you guys are not going to come after me talking about I went to this store and it was trash. So I like to kind of feel out a store. So I'm going to spend some time in West Palm um, going to a few other stores and then I will have a video for you. Love you. We never pay retail. Bye Check out some of my favorite thrift stores in West Palm Beach, Fort Lauderdale in Miami Dallas and Chicago DionDean.com forward slash list